San Antonio Gunslingers fans. Y'all told me y'all were legit. You guys told me in the comments section of different videos that y'all were legitimate. Y'all had a good team. Y'all had everything nice and ready to go. What is that field? What is that field that I saw on Saturday night? What is that? It looked atrocious. Who set this up? There was dust, literal sand in one of the end zones. What an absolutely terrible display. Not professional, as Tony Zafredo would try to put it. Not professional. St. Louis Bandits, how are y'all doing today? Y'all, y'all, y'all still getting kicked out of hotels? You guys are still getting kicked out of hotels, Jeff Hunt. Are you gonna pay the hotels? Are you gonna pay people? Are you gonna play the players? You know, are you gonna are you gonna book dates in your in the arena in St. Louis? You know, because there's conflicting reports on that. <laughs> Come on, tell me something. Come on. And let's not even get started on what in the world the um, El Paso, West Texas Buccaneers, whatever they're called, having a field that looked even worse than the San Antonio Gunslingers field, which, which also looked absolutely atrocious. I mean, we're talking this field was patched together, miscolored pieces, don't nobody know what's going on, they're playing a team that's not even a real team potentially so I don't know what in the world's going on and here we thought you know the Tampa Tornadoes were just you know this team that just was not you know legitimate or anything like that and here they go they beat up on the Carolina Predators to start the season they actually had a good broadcast too save for the fact there wasn't no um you know since the time wasn't on the on the um on the scoreboard, you know, thing. But, you know, they had they had fans in the stands. It was more than three fans, unlike Massachusetts games. So, I, I don't understand this. And it's been thing after thing after thing after thing after thing after thing after thing, after thing with the AAL. And if you're new to this channel, we talk about stuff like this each and every week, you know. We talk about, you know, the, the landscape of indoor football. We talk about, you know, let, let's not even get started on National Gridiron League right now. You know, that league is never taking off. Please. Whoever's in, who, whoever they get, I forgot the guy's name who's in charge of the NGL. They got to stop trying to do that. It's, it's, it's been like so long and I just do not I just do not know why they continue to do that but the AAL back to the AAL what a sham this first week was you know we had you know a couple games you know North Texas the North Texas Fort Worth Bulls don't please don't call them Texas they're Fort Worth and isn't there two teams in Fort Worth I might add I, I don't remember but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What the AAL showed me this week was, you know, absolutely nothing. It was absolutely disgusting. A atrocious display of football on the field. I mean, yeah, the San Antonio North Texas game was a little bit closer than I imagined. And the um, Tampa Bay Carolina game was not even close. But this week you want to capture my attention you better you better pick it right back up where you left off otherwise I'm gonna, well yeah I'm probably gonna be watching March Madness during this weekend anyway so y'all keep me posted because what in, what in the world these San Antonio Gunslingers fans have told me in the comments for four, four, four to five months was absolutely illegitimate and shout out to the two new subscribers Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the views the last few days uh, on the uh, March Madness reaction and bracket preview video. Go ahead and watch that if you are new, and I'll see you again very, very soon.